Why can't I perfectly center things on After Effects like I can on social media platforms? Well, actually you can, it's just not as intuitive as a social media platform. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up After Effects and go to View. And once you do that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you turn on Show Rulers and then click on View again and make sure that Show Guides and Snap to Guides are also clicked on. So now we're gonna start creating our own guides for layers to snap to. And this composition is 1920 by 1080 and the reason that's important is because if you want to have precise guides throughout the frame based on how many pixels are in the frame then you're going to need to do some basic math to make sure it's exact. So let's make our first guide. Go up to the top ruler, click and drag down and you don't have to get it exactly where you want to go because if you right click on it you can type in the exact position you want it to be in. So I'm going to type in zero to get it to the very top of the frame. And Now we're going to repeat that process so we can get it to the middle of the frame so the only difference is we're going to change the value so if the frame is 1080 pixels then we're going to want to do half of that so 540 and now I'll put it right in the middle and then we just repeat this process either clicking and dragging from the top or clicking and dragging from the left and so you don't have to watch me do that here are the values I did for all of my guides to split the frame in thirds so now I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and create a basic circle so I can show you how the snapping works but before I drag it around to show you the snapping I'm going to make sure that the anchor point is centered on the circle so I go over to the anchor point tool and hold down command and double click on the anchor point tool and that will center that anchor point right to the middle of the circle now go back to the selection tool and then you click and drag that layer anywhere you want the snapping will not work if you're just adjusting the X or Y position and now if we go back to view and we turn off show guides and then we click and drag our layer around the frame the snapping is no longer going to work and by the way just to speed up your work workflow the hot key to bring up the guides or make them disappear is command semicolon all right so now I'm going to show you how you can save your guides and then import them into your project or you can download the one that I put on my website for free but make sure you continue watching so you can see how to import it into your project so you'll go to view export guides and save it out to whatever you want to name it and then go to view clear the guides and then view again and now import guides locate that file and then there you go that is how you can use guides and snapping so you can get perfectly centered or positioned layers in your frame i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something if you did leave me a thumbs up comment what you thought down below and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one